the copy of the Testament of Nephtali, which he ordained at the time of his death in the 130th year of his life, when his sons were gathered together in the seventh month, on the first day of the month, while still in good health, he made them a feast of food and wine. And after he was awake in the morning, he said to them, I am dying, and they believed him not. And as he glorified Yahuwah, he grew strong and said that after yesterday's feast he should die. And he began then to say, Hear, my children, ye sons of Nephtali, hear the words of your father. I was born from Bilhah, and because Rachel dealt craftily, and gave Bilhah in place of herself to Yaakov, and she conceived and bore me upon Rachel's knees, therefore she called my name Nephtali. For Rachel loved me very much because I was born upon her lap, and when I was still young she was wont to kiss me, and say, May I have a brother of yours from my own womb, like unto you. Whence also Yosef was like unto me in all things, according to the prayers of Rachel. Now my mother was Bilhah, daughter of Rotheus, the brother of Deborah, Rivka's nurse, who was born on one and the selfsame day with Rachel. And Rotheus was of the family of Abraham, a Kazdi, Elohim-fearing, freeborn, and noble, and he was taken captive and brought by Laban, and he gave Yuna his handmaid to be his woman, and she bore a daughter, and called her name Zilpah, after the name of the village in which he had been taken captive. And next she bore Bilhah, saying, My daughter hastens after what is new. For immediately that she was born, she seized the breast and hastened to suck it. And I was swift on my feet like the deer, and my father Yaakov appointed me for all messages, and as the deer did he give me his blessing. For as the potter knows the vessel, how much it is to contain, and bring clay accordingly, so also does Yahuwah make the body after the likeness of the Ruach, and according to the capacity of the body does he implant the Ruach, and the one does not fall short of the other by a third part of a hair. For by weight, by measure, and rule was all the creation made. And as the potter knows the use of each vessel, what it is meet for, so also does Yahuwah know the body, how far it will persist in goodness, and when it begins in evil. For there is no inclination or thought which Yahuwah knows not, for he created every man after his own image. As a man's strength, so also is his work, and as his mind, so also is his skill, and as his purpose, so also is his achievement, and as his heart, so also is his mouth, as his eye, so also is his sleep, as his soul, so also is his word, either in the Torah of Yahuwah or in the works of Baal. And as there is a division between light and darkness, between seeing and hearing, so also is there a division between man and man, and between woman and woman. And it is not to be said that the one is like the other, either in face or in mind. For Elohim made all things good in their order, the five senses in the head, and he joined them on the neck to the head, adding to it the hair also for comeliness and glory, then the heart for understanding, the belly for excrement, and the stomach for grinding, and the windpipe for taking in the breath, the liver for wrath, the gall for bitterness, the spleen for laughter, the reins for prudence, the muscles of the loins for power, the lungs for drawing in, the loins for strength, and so forth. So then, my children, let all your works be done in order with good intent in the fear of Elohim, and do nothing disorderly in scorn or out of its due season. For if you bid the eye to hear, it cannot. So neither while ye are in darkness can you do the works of light. Be ye therefore not eager to corrupt your doings through covetousness, or with vain words to beguile your souls. Because if you keep silence and purity of heart, ye shall understand how to hold fast the will of Elohim, and to cast away the will of Baal. Sun and moon and stars change not their order, so do ye also change not the Torah of Elohim in the disorderliness of your doings. The other nations went astray, and forsook Yahuwah, and changed their order, and obeyed trees and stones, spirits of deceit. But ye shall not be so, my children, recognizing in the firmament, 
in the earth, and in the sea, and in all created things, Yahweh who made all things, that ye become not as Sodom, which changed the order of nature. In like manner, the watchers also changed their order of their nature, whom Yahweh cursed at the flood, on whose account he made the earth without inhabitants and fruitless. These things I say unto you, my children, for I have read in the writings of Enoch that ye yourselves also shall depart from Yahuwah, walking according to all the Torahlessness of the other nations, and ye shall do according to all the wickedness of Sodom, and Yahuwah shall bring captivity upon you, and there shall ye serve your enemies, and ye shall be bowed down with every affliction and tribulation, until Yahuwah have consumed you all. And after ye have become diminished and made few, ye shall return and acknowledge Yahweh Elohim, and he shall bring you back into your land according to his abundant mercy. And it shall be that after that they come into the land of their fathers, they shall again forget Yahweh and become wicked, and Yahweh shall scatter them upon the face of all the earth until the compassion of Yahweh shall come, a man working righteousness and working mercy unto all them that are afar off and to them that are near. For in the fortieth year of my life, I saw a vision on the Mount of Olives, on the east of Yerushalayim, that the sun and the moon were standing still. And behold, Yitshik, the father of my father, said to us, Run and lay hold of them, each one according to his strength, and to him that seizes them will the sun and moon belong. And we all of us ran together, and Levi laid hold of the sun, and Yahuda outstripped the others and seized the moon and they were both of them lifted up with them. And when Levi became as a son, lo, a certain young man gave to him twelve branches of palm, and Yahuda was bright as the moon, and under their feet were twelve rays. And the two, Levi and Yahuda, ran and laid hold of them, and a bull upon the earth with two great horns, and an eagle's wings upon its back, and we wished to seize him, but could not. But Yosef came and seized him, and ascended up with him on high. And I saw, for I was there, and behold, a holy writing appeared to us, saying, Asherim, Medes, Persians, Kazdim, Aramim, shall possess in captivity the twelve tribes of Yasharel. And again, after seven days I saw our father Yaakov standing by the sea of Yavnael, and we were with him. And behold, there came a ship sailing by, without sailors or pilot, and there was written upon the ship, the ship of Yaakov. And our father said to us, Come, let us embark on our ship. And when we had gone on board, there arose a vehement storm, and a mighty tempest of wind, and our father, who was holding the helm, departed from us. And we, being tossed with the tempest, were borne along over the sea, and the ship was filled with water and was pounded by mighty waves, until it was broken up. And Yosef fled away upon a little boat, and we were all divided upon the nine planks, and Levi and Yehuda were together, and we were all scattered unto the ends of the earth. Then Levi, girt about with sackcloth, prayed for all of us unto Yahuwah. And when the storm ceased, the ship reached the land as it were in peace, and our father came, and we all rejoiced with one accord. These two dreams I told to my father, and he said to me, These things must be fulfilled in their season. After that, Yasharel has endured many things. Then my father says unto me, I believe, Elohim, that Yosef lives, for I see always that Yahweh numbers him with you. And he said, weeping, Ah me, my son Yosef, you live, though I behold you not and you see not Yaakov that begat you. He caused me also, therefore, to weep by these words, and I burned in my heart to declare that Yosef had been sold, but I feared my brethren. And lo, my children, I have shown unto you the last times, how everything shall come to pass in Yasharel. Do ye also, therefore, Charge your children that they may be united to Levi and to Yehuda, for through them shall Yeshua arise unto Yasharel, 
and in them shall Yaakov be blessed. For through their tribes shall Elohim appear, dwelling among men on earth, to save the race of Yasharel, and to gather together the righteous from amongst the other nations. If ye work that which is good, my children, both men and angels shall bless you, and Elohim shall be glorified among the other nations through you, and the devils shall flee from you, and the wild beasts shall fear you, and Yahweh shall love you, and the angels shall cleave to you. As a man who has trained a child well is kept in kindly remembrance, so also for a good work there is a good remembrance before Elohim. But him that does not that which is good, both angels and men shall curse, and Elohim shall be dishonored among the nations through him, and the devil shall make him as his own peculiar instrument, and every wild beast shall master him, and Yahuwah shall hate him. For the commandments of the Torah are twofold, and through prudence must they be fulfilled. For there is a season for a man to embrace his woman, and a season to abstain therefrom for his prayer. So then, there are two commandments, and unless they be done in due order, they bring very great sin upon men. So also is it with the other commandments. Be ye therefore wise in Elohim, my children, and prudent, understanding the order of his commandments, and the Torah of every word, that Yahuwah may love you. And when he had charged them with many such words, he exhorted them that they should remove his bones to Chevron, and that they should bury him with his fathers. And when he had eaten and drunken with a merry heart, he covered his face and died. And his sons did according to all that Naphtali their father had commanded them.